Let's look at the definition of the electric field. If I have a charge, positive Q, on the left here, it has a field emanating outward from that charge. And it doesn't just lie in the plane of the computer that you're using. It goes outward in every single direction. It's, a, it's like a sphere. In every direction, there is the field. And we represent them by lines with arrows. And it goes outward from a positive charge. Now, if I were to put a little charge Q at point A, that's how I know there's a field there. I mean, how would I know if there's a field there? I can't see it. I don't know. But I test for it by taking a little test charge. And if it feels a force, I know there is an electric field. And so we test for the electric field with a positive test charge. Now the definition, then, of the electric field. The formula for the definition, E equals F divided by the test charge Q. The force that is uh, at that point on that charge divided by the little charge Q. And I end up with a unit, newtons per coulomb, and there isn't any other unit for the electric field. Okay, let's look at it a little bit more carefully. Here is big charge Q. There's a field going in every direction, and I have my little test charge Q at point A. Now, little test charge Q actually feels a force. The charge feels a force. And that is, of course, the Coulomb's Law. K times big Q times the little Q divided by the distance between them squared. But when I'm talking about the electric field, I'm not talking about a charge that is put there. No. The electric field describes something about that point. And it says at that point, there's a certain number of uh, newtons for every coulomb of charge. At that point A, because of the big charge Q. In other words, because of big charge Q, at point A, there exists a certain number of newtons for every coulomb of charge that could be placed there. So, if I have big charge Q and I have another little charge, Let's find out what the actual field is, the formula for the field in this situation. Well, their distance are apart, and I know E is equal to F divided by Q. And F, between the big Q and the little Q, is KQ over R squared. Oh, I divide by my little test charge. It cancels out, and I'm left with KQ over R squared. And that's the value of the electric field at this, in this situation where there's a large car charge Q. Uh, and I'm going to define now the value of this electric field at a distance r away. Oh, let me summarize now. Basically, we have the definition of the electric field, F over Q, newtons per coulomb. And it describes something about the point at a distance from a large charge Q. Next. The value of <laughs> the electric field due to a large charge Q at any distance r is kq over r squared.